Coming home from dinner and stuff, both of us having people like recognize you on the street and stuff and come up and watch you take pictures. And yeah, we were saying, like, Jeremy's used to that because he's like an on camera guy and people. Is that hanging out with Jeremy? Yeah, I'll, even in LA, I'll go out to dinner and stuff. But girls chase you around. <laughs> girls chase you around. Yeah, they just scream, piercing screams. Uh, yeah. yeah. Especially certain ones. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Is it a same experience movie. for you? Or? Well, of course. Look at this manly man over here. <laughs> Obviously. I have large, mouth-breathing dudes throwing themselves at me. No, um... <laughs> no, the, 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 the fan passion at Comic-Con is uh, really special. Like, you know, we make jokes about it, but really it's so gratifying to be where the people who like the stuff that you do uh, come. You know, like... like you know, like I was thinking last night, like while we come here, you know, you come here, there's a hotel room yep. waiting for you. Go up to here, and there's somebody from Cartoon Network goes, okay, I'm going to meet me in the lobby. I'm going to walk you, you over to the press thing, and they give you your stuff. The people that are here are people that stood in giant lines, bought their tickets, spent a bunch of money, Some oftentimes flew here from somewhere else on an uncomfortable airplane at great expense. You know, that that's really special. You know, those people are really, uh, you know, you want to um, uh, give those people their props because it's, 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 we're happy that they're so into the, the stuff that we work on. And I'm, and I'm a big fan of uh, certain things, so I get the fanish uh, 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 personality. You know, I, I am, I am that, you know. So it's, it's really, Comic Con is uh, yeah, it's the nicest people in the world. Awesome. Have you seen the giant Ice King yet? In yeah. He's got a great story about that. Yeah, I was, I was like signing for Annoying Orange yesterday for like five minutes before I realized I was sitting in my own mouth. Right. You know what I mean? I, I just thought, wow, what's this weird furry wall? You know, like, like because they rush you in and they sit you down, okay, you, get, you know, here's a Sharpie, you know, sign stuff. And then you're like, hey, that's, that's my nose. And I'm sitting in my own mouth. But I said I wanted to take a picture of me sitting there signing in the Ice King's mouth, you know, with a little Ice King in my mouth. You know, like just keep it Tom Ice King, Tom Kenny, Ice King, Tom Kenny, Ice King, Tom Kenny. Ice Kingception, man. Yeah, like Ice Kingception. Whoa, that's heavy, man. That's crazy. Whoa. Bro. You guys, ever consider calling people up in character voices and like prank calling them or anything like that? <laughs> I've done it. But not in Finn's voice, and not with my phone. Have like you, I do it on my friend's phone, so that the number. But can't exactly, be people back. put it up to, to you. But it's like, oh, this kid's have, my kids having a birthday party, and they really love Adventure Time. Could you call them up? Uh, it depends on the person. Some people I would definitely do that for. Like I even had um, D. Bradley Baker. He does Cinnamon Bun on the show. He does. Gosh, every show, every like yeah, he's like the utility infielder. Yeah. He's there. Um, he had me come up the other. He came up the other. He's like, hey, can you um, can you like a little, uh, little uh, voice record like video thing for my for my nephew? And I was like, yeah, dude, of course. Like, because I I know him. Like, I love him. He's a cool guy. And I was like, yeah. But in terms of like just calling and messing with people, is the ice cake? <laughs> you know, <laughs> how great would it be though? Like, hey, if that pizza's not here in a half hour, <laughs> I'm coming over there and blasting you with with uh, zaps. I mean, why not? I mean, you know, if you're out in the crowd, you guys. You know, just start to have like a voice battle or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time for some whiz biz. <laughs> it's funny. It's about to get real crazy in here. I usually yeah, don't yeah, right. do stuff like that. Like, I, like if somebody wants me to leave a message for somebody, I'll, I'll always do that. But yeah. Like, yeah. But it's but like for me at least, like part of the cool thing about voice acting is the anonymity that you can have. You know, so it's like you don't out yourself more than more often than you need to. You know, but but that's just me. What are your favorite episodes on the show? Uh, one of my all-time favorites would be I want to say the first Flame Princess episode. I think it's Incendium because mm. I love uh, I love the Fire King Keith David. He just has this great baritone voice. Great, so cool. great voice. Yeah, great voice. He's one of those guys like that's his one voice. Like it's his real voice. Yeah. It's but you don't need anything else. <laughs> like, really... like that voice will get him through his whole life, and he'll have more work that he that he can ever yeah. ever handle yeah. because his real voice is just. And it's just like, wow, you know, what would that be like? Just like <laughs> right. open your mouth and that comes out of you. You know, it's like whenever he talks, people always. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's he's that guy. he does yeah. a lot of that. But uh, what's your favorite episode? Oh man, you know, I tend to like. The, the fan favorite ones, you know, the Fiona and Cake episodes, 
the you know I tend to like the Marceline Ice King flashback uh, episodes you know I can't I'm not good with titles but uh, you know the ones where they're kind of wandering around this post-apocalyptic earth like those are I think I like those because they're they're fun to act like it's different yeah. than stuff that you get to do on any other show you know where it's like this sweet doomed relationship with this little, little sick little girl in a, in a bombed out little, like world and it's like wow I never get to do stuff like this on any other show you know this is cool <laughs> What's your favorite fan art? Because I know Time gets a ton. Oh, we've got some really cool stuff. I love all the all the Finn and Jake mixed with like other franchises. Like uh, there's a Finn and Jake like uh, Pokemon. It's like it's a uh, Ash is Finn and then Pikachu is Jake. Or so they just do mashups like yeah. Worlds I love I love all the mashups. Up. There's like a Star Wars one. It's like Finn's Han Solo and Jake's Chewbacca. <laughs> it's great. I love those. That's great. That's great. Yeah. And Jeremy, and then you lost response. Yeah. Then what? It, was there a last question or response or something? Uh, was, yeah. <laughs> no, well, I guess I, I would say in terms of fan art, like I love, like we were talking about, like those second and third and fourth tier characters because the uh, Adventure Time world of who is like so big and has so many people. It's like Springfield or something on The Simpsons. There's like twentieth tier characters. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I love when somebody just like. But we'll do you like, really get to hear the you know, like Starchy the Grave Digger or like Cinnamon Bun or like, you know, like we'll just do some really elaborate like oil painting of a character who's really minor on the show, but it speaks to them. It's kind of like Boba Fett was yeah. when he yeah, yeah. showed up in Star Wars where you're like, wow, that guy's only in the movie for 30 seconds, but he's the guy everybody likes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I love when like a minor character connects at a weirdly yeah. deep yeah. level with people. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because there's not a lot of backstory yet and people can... Make put their, their own, own baggage yeah. on it, you know, they can pack the baggage themselves. So.